Let's talk about cowlicks today. Let's talk about cowlicks. If you are here, then you have a cowlick and guess what? Almost every single person has a cowlick. This video is dedicated to my client, Hannah, who asked me how to control her frontal hair cowlick. This one's for you, girl. So what is a cowlick. A cowlick is a small group of hair that either stands straight up or lies in the opposite direction of the way a person wants to comb his or her hair. You can recognize a cowlick by the spiral pattern that it forms in the crown of the head or in the back of the hair. You can recognize a cowlick at the front because your hair tends to stick straight up and then billow over. So fun fact, do you want to know why it's called a cowlick? It's called a cowlick because cows have this habit of licking their young and when they do that, they lick in like a swirly pattern and it leaves this little swirl in the cow's fur. I'm sure you really wanted to know that. Weird, right? I get asked this question every single day in the salon. How do I control my cowlick? Can I get bangs if I have a cowlick? Are there certain haircuts that I can't get if I have a cowlick? The answer is no. You can get whatever haircut you want. It just depends on how much work you want to put into styling it. I'm going to show you a few easy ways to style that cowlick right out of your hair right now. The first thing you need to do is you need to start with wet hair. I cannot say this enough. You cannot tame a cowlick. If you're working on dry hair, it's not gonna work. These guys are bossy. They, they know what they want to do and the only way to show them who's boss is to wet your hair and start from wet. Now, this does not mean you have to wet the rest of your hair, that is way too much work. You can just wet your bangs, start from there and then you can style just the front and keep the rest of your hair the way it is. After you wet your hair, step number two is to apply some type of hold product that is going to let your hair be manipulated and stay manipulated throughout the day and even overnight. So one of the products that I really, really like is KMS Thermal Shape Hot Flex Spray. And the reason I like it is for three different reasons. For one, it's heat activated shaping, which is really, really great because we are using heat to shape our hair and it's activated by heat, which is gonna make it work really, really well. The second reason that I like it is that it has elastic hold. You don't want something that is too gummy or something that is too hard or even too sticky. This is right at the front of your hair. So you want something that has a lot of movement still while still maintaining hold. And the third reason I like it is because it's a heat protectant. So it's going to protect my hair. My hair is really fine and around my face, it's extremely fine. So I want to use something that's gonna cause heat protectant if I'm styling it, especially if I'm styling it daily. Just use a tiny amount because you don't want to create too much product buildup right in the front of your head. You don't want it to be weighed down too much. Step number three is doing what I call confusing the root. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a fine tooth comb and you're going to take your blow dryer. You're going to go on a lower setting high heat but lower blow setting so that you don't blow it all over the place, you have a little bit more control. You are going to take that comb and you are going to push your hair forward. Then you're gonna push it all the way to one side. Then you're gonna push it all the way to the other side, push it down to one side to the other side, push it down until you get the root dry. This is a really good tip because when you confuse that root, you basically just eliminate the cowlick altogether. You can do this if you have bangs. You can also do this if you don't have bangs. This is the number one way to get rid of a cowlick when styling your hair. Now, step number four is to go in and round it out with your round brush. You don't want to go right through the root and even go on base and push up. You really want to just round it out from kind of the mid shaft down. So you create some bend in the bottom, but you don't lift this up again because we just worked on flattening this out. Now, the next thing you can do is what I call the squish technique. <laughs> it's a very fancy hairdresser term. What you do is when you are round brushing your hair with your round brush and your hair is hot, after you've confused that root, you're round brushing those bottom sections. Once you are done round brushing, just squish your hair against your forehead and do that when your hair is hot until your hair feels cooler to the touch. Your hair is very malleable when it's hot. So when you squish it down, you're actually forming it. And as it cools, it's kind of setting that shape. So squishing it down, letting it set its shape and then releasing will keep it flatter and keep that cowlick more contained. And finally, step number five is to finish with a little bit of finishing spray or hairspray. Now I'm not a huge hairspray junkie because I don't like it when hair looks stiff and hard, but when it comes to tackling a cowlick, especially if you have fine hair like me and it just kind of goes everywhere, you really do need 
need to give your hair a little bit more grit and a little bit more weight. So I really like using just like a sheer hold hairspray. Any sheer hold hairspray will really do. Just make sure you're not going into the stronghold family because you don't want it to be too sticky or too heavy. And there you go in five easy steps. You went from having this bang that was kind of out of control to having a really controlled, perfect fringe for the whole entire day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, then definitely leave them in the comments section below. I love making videos specifically tailored to your individual questions. I'll see you in a few days. Bye.